so hello everyone my name is ravindra in this video we will see how to get a key from an object in an power automate okay so i just uh, explain you the scenario how it works okay so first uh, i just uh, open the run history of flow okay so you can be understand it and we will also see how to create this flow in stepwise manner okay so let's uh, open this flow you can be see i have some json data here okay you can be see this is a json data in this uh, array json data we have name language id bio version these are the key okay you know json data is present in key value pairs also okay so we have we want this separate all the key well keys okay not the values okay so how to uh, get this okay like in this format name language id bio version okay all the keys we get in the separate format so how to achieve this let's we go and see okay so first uh, i just go to the new power automate window okay and i duplicate this in the so edit mode i can be able to explain you as well okay so both the things will happen simultaneously i just remove this and let's edit mode this this is all so first we will go create a new flow in this case we will create an instant flow okay so because um, we are doing this for practice we will create instant flow let's give name to our flow key and is in object Let's click on the create. So let's we close uh, open our classic designer studio. Okay, this is in development phase, so we are not using the new designer studio, but in future we will use this. Okay, so let's we add one compose action here. Compose let's we click on the add let's provide some json data so we will go on the web this data sample okay so we will take a json data sample from the web okay itself Uh, let's we take this dummy data from github small data we will take okay let's uh, copy this and let's we go to our flow we close this tab and just click on the control v all data is present in our compose action so first uh, what we'll do we will rename this our compose action Rename this one or array. So we get our uh, JSON data here. Okay. So let's uh, uh, you can be see in our JSON data. Okay. So first I will open the JSON viewer also so you can be understand it more better. JSON viewer. So let's click on the JSON viewer. Click online JSON viewer in web. So we will see our data is in uh, which format we have. Okay, so let's we use Control V and let's see view here. So you can be see uh, we have data. And this is a key name, bio ID language. I just zoom it out so you can be easily see. So in this you can be see bio ID language name version. So those are the keys and this is a value. So okay, our JSON data is present in key value pairs. Okay, so in every case you can be see our key is same, only value is changing. So for the first record, uh, you you seen okay. Let's we see for the second record also. So for second record, uh, values are changed, keys are same. 
so you can be see for any record over these keys are same okay and uh, we have to extract these keys only so uh, what we'll do uh, we are not required this complete uh, json data okay we are required only single okay so let me take this first json object okay from an array so let's i first close this close this close this and just came here close this let's we add here compose action here compose let's click on the compose let's rename this first object let's click on the power effects we will use the first function here okay so first function is used to get a first value from an object or a from an array or basically first is used to get first value from an array okay let's click on the okay so you can be see uh, we will get the first object by using this uh, i will show you the run history okay let's we change the tab here so you can be see in the output we will get only the single value this only one object okay so uh, now we have to remove this uh, curly braces here okay so let's we add a remove step here okay so we will go add a new step here add one compose action let's rename this action here first and uh, so in the power automate we have the replace function okay by using the replace function we will uh, replace the curly braces okay so we will first type replace then we will use so uh, you can be see replace functions required a string parameter and then the old text that we have to change and the new text okay so let's see um, but we have an here oh, array format okay object okay so first we have to convert that into an string so to convert array into a string we have a string function we will use string then we will go to the dynamic content and just select the output of that okay, let's we come outside the string function then give the comma then we have to provide the old text okay so in the single quotes we will provide the curly braces and then give comma and provide the blank space here okay and let's put one more time here replace function use replace We will add uh, brackets and we will provide the thing there and here and close this. Let's save. So, by using the replace function, you can be see we will get we will remove the curly braces. So, in this format, we will get the output here. Okay, so from here, okay in this format we want the first values only so in the output you can be see we have name language id and this object values okay if you see this object value is separated by using the commas okay so let's we convert this ob, uh, string value okay into an array format on the basis of this commas okay so let's we go and add one more compose action here you can do this all the three step okay in the same step also okay if you have to minimize the steps i will rename this into okay. so let's we click on the power fx formula okay then we will use split function here okay in the split function we will provide the text so um, in the this remove we will provide this dynamic content and then we use separator comma and just click on the save so we will get an array here so you can be see in this step we will get this array format of data so uh, after that we will use and add an we will type very 
tables in the variables we will use first initialize a variable give name to that append array use name to the our variable and this user array after that we will use one apply to each condition apply to each we will use the output of this converting array means our all the key values okay so just go here and select the output then we will use add one compose action here in the compose so you can be see we are taking the first value means that literating value that are passing in our object okay so we will here add an so now um, uh, we will add one new step here we will add one compose Oops. add one compose here and we will use dynamic content here and use this current right and just copy this by using control c we will go to the compose then we will use power fx formula then we will paste it okay so we want the current item okay that's why we use this okay so after that we will split the split function the split function we are passing required the string okay. so let's we convert our array into a string format so split requires separator in our case we have these double dots and just we close this and save so in this step you can be see we'll get this type of output here okay so we are passing this value okay string we are passing this value okay and we will get in this step an array format okay so we have two values here first is name and second is this value first is key and second is value sorry okay so we'll simply add one more compose action here or simply we will use this append to array variable append to array variable simply here we will use this go to the power fx and add use the first function here so that in the first function we will take the dynamic value of our compose action here okay so we have the name value here, okay after name but you can be see in the output here okay with the name we also getting this double commas okay double quotes okay so we have to remove that so we will use string function and convert this into a string close this then we will use replace and simply we will replace this this okay we replace double quotes with non blank values okay, let's save it and add here our variables value and let's save and test our flow here so our flow is run successfully let's we see what output we are get here so you can be see uh, we are get the output correctly name language id bio version so that's all friends if you have any question you can be asked in the comment box or if you have some suggestions you can uh, provide me that's all friends. thank you have a nice day.